I get asked a lot, which is the best app for GTD? Well, there's loads of GTD to do this apps, but one really is notable and it's called Nirvana. Today, we're gonna overview whether Nirvana is right for you and to see whether it's the best GTD task management app on the market. Welcome, my name is Francesco. If you're exploring tools and resources in GTD or in the productivity realm, then do jump over to toolfinder.co. It's the best place to find tools and there's also a free guide to helping you pick the best to-do list app in the world. You can find it linked below and uh, naturally you can get it hands on for free. So welcome and I'm excited to dive in. So here we are with Nirvana and it presents itself as a very old fashioned looking app with a fairly modern style. Now I've seen some old apps like To Do, they're old in terms of their look, but this one is fairly reasonable and it also has a pretty reasonable pricing. So the pricing for Nirvana is $5 monthly, which I think is fairly reasonable. If you go with the yearly plan, plan it is $3 a month and you do get access to a lot of additional stuff. Now, there are obviously um, good access in the free plan, but the unlimited areas, unlimited projects and recurring tasks is something that if you're taking GTD seriously, that I think you'll probably want more so. But really reasonable in terms of pricing, in terms of the speciality of this app. So let's show you around. And if you've not read GTD, maybe this might be a bit confusing, but in general, it's a system. It's about capturing stuff, organizing them, and then actually doing them as a collective. There's five steps, but here we go. So there's an inbox in which you can add your tasks. So for example, in this case, I can add a task based on how long it's gonna take me, can add an energy level, which is a primary factor inside of GTD, and give it a due date. I can also give it a project or a state in which to focus on it. So in this case, if it's a new contact that I'm waiting for, it could be I'm waiting for Bob, it could be anyone, but I can add it to a state. So in this case, it could be scheduled for the start date being today. And you can see that I can add it to an active project. So the more context you add to it, the better insight you'll get from your tasks. And I can even add attributes here that are part of it. I can add whether it's a work task, I can add whether it's an associated to a person that I'm working with and add labels. So in this case, this is a task that I want to do whilst at work, whilst working from home, 30 minutes is required, medium energy, due date is today and scheduled for today. Actually, I'm just gonna change the due date to Friday just to make it a little bit more realistic. I can also add notes and star it, but I'm gonna press start, start or save so the inbox area is really helpful for stuff, but you've also got the next area, which helps you to start coordinating your next task to do. In this case, these are actions and projects. So I'm breaking them down into things that don't have project and things that do have a project. But you can see as well, if I wanted to, I could go, can I do things in 10 minutes or left that are in the next area? And I could start cracking on following the GTD system. I can also see stuff that is medium and you can start to get an idea for the type of tasks that I can do that are four hours or less and that are naturally medium. Read the book in this case. I can tick them off and as you can see, tasks that are done are hidden. Now you can also break stuff down in other factors. You can have a unified list, sequential next actions, and you can extend the size of things. So let me just show you how that works. You can make things look thinner or slightly wider in terms of what you want to see. So this next area is incredibly helpful for breaking down tasks. The waiting on area is helpful because you can then see somebody in your contacts that you can link up to who you're waiting on. So for example, if I'm like, right, what am I waiting on from Bob? Okay, I'm gonna ping Bob, I can see all of those tasks. Then I can see scheduled tasks as well, like what things are due um, so that I can really push up the due date and extend them as well and what can be completed in that set period of time. And someday, obviously, things you need to do anytime. So these are a great place to store stuff that you don't have a future date to. So the focus area is also good because you can then zone in on that said task and you can see a little bit more attributes to it. Now, obviously, this is in my focus area, but it's just starred, basically. So that's where all of the starred ones go. Now in a project, you get a certain set limit to the project, but you can add a due date to the project, give it a project behavior, sequential or parallel. Parallel, I believe, is when you can 
do anything in any order, but sequential is when you need set one, two, three in order because it's like Ikea furniture to do that in there. So this is really helpful for breaking stuff down. You have the same attributes as before. You've also got a references area where you can bring together a list of uh, existing actions and, and projects, which is basically like a reference to recreate them really instantly and a tags area where you can see anything specific. Like if you wanted to use a tag of, I wanna do only computer stuff and at home, perfect. You can just jump straight in. There's also a logbook for the completed tasks you've done and you can see all of those there. You can also do a cleanup of your logbook at any time. Now down here, you can also create an action where there is a load of keyboard shortcuts, which are gonna save you a bunch of time and create a project at any given time. You can also see a scheduled project or a someday maybe project too. Now as part of your account, there's a lot more as well. For example, you've got task counts, global area filters, what, how you wanna see dates and things like that. That is really for the hardcore individuals. But as a whole, this experience is incredibly nice. The pros are that you have got an app here that is specifically designed for to-do list management with GTD in mind. So it's gonna follow the system. I read it five years ago, last time I read it, it's very specific. So this app even follows it more than my own knowledge. So FYI, this is the go-to guide. Um, and it's important to be able to see whether that's right for you. The cons are, there's not really many cons about this app because there are some limitations on it maybe. The design isn't exactly refreshed and updated, but to be honest, it is a good app for what it offers and it's cheaper than some of the other GTD options on the market. So the cons are fairly thin for me. So we checked out Nirvana. Now Nirvana is a really interesting GTD app and it's gonna be a good base for those who are getting started with GTD. Now, if you want, you may be looking at apps like Todoist, TickTick that are more general. Nirvana is much more specific, it follows the system. So don't expect it to be apps like Todoist or TickTick, but also don't expect it to be more advanced, more powerful apps that have a bit more flexibility that are also used for GTD management. Like OmniFocus 4 is a good example of that one. But what it is, is a safe, reliable way to use your GTD. If you want to explore more tools, you know where to go. I said it before, to do, to do, I, I can't even picture myself, to do toolfinder.co and you'll find loads more to do the steps if you are still not fully decided, but you could check out Nirvana linked below. Anyway, folks, hopefully this helped you find Nirvana, <laughs> find Nirvana, uh, and I hope you enjoy more of our review.